Stolas Relay Station, so the receiving network, over. Roger. Yes, we're performing a systems check, transmission sequence 2.35, test date October 16th, 2022. The time is 2351 UTC. The current utilization is coming in at 20.4%, transmitting at 3300 kbps. Current atmospheric temperature is a pretty warm 225 Celsius range, 351.1 million kilometers. That's around term light time, approximately 3.7 light years. The azimuth is coming at 115.7 degrees, wind speeds at 8 kilometers per hour. All systems are nominal and ready for transmission.
starts the transmission. to the Stolas Relay Station, broadcasting original ambient and atmospheric signals to the furthest reaches of our solar system. If your current conditions permit it, close your eyes, lean back, and enjoy these original ambient sounds. Tonight, you're in for a treat. Another new ambient artist brought into the fold with their delightful composition, which we'll showcase in moments. Also, a brand new composition for the Relay Station series that will call us on to mornings of meditation and mindfulness. Strap in and make yourself comfortable. Join us for the next few hours on the Stolas Relay Station.
On a personal note, it's a delight for me to share this next composition from ambient artist James Dawson. You might say that the premise on which he made his album, Ambient Sketches 1, was very much my origin story for the Relay Station. Taken from a collection of ambient guitar loops, James created these pieces as a meditative exercise to soothe his anxiety. He compiled the most coherent of them and released them on Bandcamp in an effort to encourage himself to create more music. Well, I say keep at it, James. Here now, his absolutely divine composition, Seven, from James Dawson on the album Ambient Sketches One.
November morning, I meditate, and I can feel a stirring deep within me, thirsty for the chance to retreat to what has become my inner sanctuary. It's like a bell, a bell that calls me to a quiet place, a quiet place deep inside me, to consider virtue, the wisdom of the Stoics who endure just the same, and reflect on our alignment with nature. Come answer the call with me in this brand new ambient composition. The morning bell calls.
Support the Stolas Relay Station to reach our benchmarks and maintain continuity. Visit stolas.com slash support for more information on how you can show your love for the music created here. Tune in to the live stream broadcast of the Stolas Relay Station every Sunday evening at 7 p.m. Central or 0 hours UTC. You can also catch previous episodes of the Relay Station at stolas.com slash relay station. You can also hear music from the Relay Station on streaming music platforms worldwide. The live improv portion of this program begins next, after this.
Well, my friends, hello. Hello. Happy Sunday evening to you. Monday, if you're on the other end of the planet. Very nice to see you. Very nice to see you. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing fantastic. Um, fantastic weekend. Like, five stars. You're, you may. You can't be bossing around High Five like that. If, if High Five wants to sleep on my stream... He's, he's entitled to sleep during my stream. I'm not going to fall asleep during my stream. I'm feeling very chill. I'm not going to fall asleep. Mostly because... I don't know. I'm ready to make some music. Yeah, but don't be a boss and high five around. You just watch. You might just give him the moderator badge as an act of defiance and chaos. <laughs> There you go, high five. Now you can't be bullied around by anything. <laughs> Whoa, what happened here? Oh, looks like my computer just decided. There we go. <laughs> well, that's okay. If if Maithrin thinks that she can actually successfully boss me around, she's got another thing coming. <laughs> No, made into no. I had a glitch in the system. That was that was not at all May's ability. May has does not have those abilities to be able to just go with logic. Nope. Turns out all you need is a an insufficient computer, and you're abusing it with the kind of tasks and stuff that you like. Like I only I would ask of my. Poor little tiny Mac Mini. <laughs> You're behaving. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Mm. I'm really excited for the season three. Actually, I'm, I'm excited for a bunch of things. I'm excited for the season finale here of the Relay Station. On Halloween Eve, that's October 30th. And actually, for High Five, this would actually be a Halloween, legitimate Halloween show. Uh, that's when the Rise of the Insect Lord radio drama is debuts. And I'm really, really excited to share this with you. Um, it's really, it turned out really good. And that will also become a release that will eventually become available on music streaming services everywhere. Um, and then, of course, the reboot of the Relay Station as the Stolas Relay Station. That'll be um, a full-blown radio program. And I've already got a few episodes under the belt and ready to go. And got some my next steps that I got to take here towards syndication. I think I think it's gonna go somewhere. We'll see. I have no idea where, but global domination. Um, May I might enlist um, some help in some, translating some basic phrases because I want to have some internationalized. Um, bumper segments in between so I'm going to hit you up for some Spanish and then I gotta kind of go through my friends list here on Twitch and see if there's anyone that might be multi multilingual and be able to translate in other things but yeah I'll, I'll reach out but anyway let's play some music let's shut up shut up Stolas hey welcome to, back to you know, nice to see you
But, all right, looks like we have a couple of requests on the docket. I don't know why my microphone button is not working. Oops. I don't know why my microphone button is not working on the stream deck. That makes zero sense to me at all. Huh. It doesn't exist. Very bizarre. Oh, uh, how, how y'all doing tonight? How are you doing? I, I hope you're doing well. I am. I'm just having a fantastic evening. It's been a stellar day. Took the dog out for two walks today. Nice long walks. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. All right, let's see if we can reload the stream deck here and see if it... I'll recognize. Hey, there it is. All right, now we're cooking with gas. Ugh, I really cannot stand this new version of Stream Deck software. It's, oh my gosh, they made it worse. Oh, hey, you had a nice walk too. That's awesome, Daniel. That is awesome. Uh, I don't know if May knows how to not have, like, chaos all, all the time. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't know the answer to that question. Well, you guys are welcome to do whatever chaos you feel, but... Um, quiet mode is on, so just no horseplay. <laughs> Not that you can do anything anyways. <laughs> uh, well, um, let's get some of these requests on uh, in the bag. Let's see what we got here. Emerald green and the window. Good choices, good choices, good choices. All right, let's do this one. Emerald green. That's a great one. All right, what do I need? Uh, that one. All right, I'm going to shut up and start playing some music for you.
potato replacement. Thank you, everyone. Oh my gosh, thank you. What is going on? <laughs> High five, thank you for the thousand bits. Oh my god. Man, really, you didn't have to. I had to resubscribe to tier 17 months? 17 months? Has it really been that long? Oh my gosh, my friend, thank you so much. May Anonymous, thank you for the 100 each for you. Jeez, thank you so much. And again, Crafty Limey, thank you so much earlier for your sub. I appreciate it. I appreciate it very much. Don't take it for granted either. And one day my poor potato will get replaced. My poor potato. He tries very hard. Pepe le potato. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to make like a little emote and it's just going to be a little <laughs> oh you know what I didn't do that um, 
I'm afraid. I'm afraid if I renamed my computer during stream that I would probably break something. Um, but yeah, his name, my computer's name is going to be Pepe, <laughs> Pepe Potato. <laughs> <laughs> Little Potato, my Pepe. Yeah, I I'll probably do that after stream. <laughs> oh my god. It is a potato of a computer, but hey, it's it's it has served it has served me well. Um I tell you, um just all chatting. It's I have accomplished so much with this tiny little computer. And of course you've seen all of my moments of severe frustration with it. You've come along with me on that journey and yeah, it's it's been a long one, but I've accomplished so much in this. I mean, this I recorded Dark Side of the Moon with this. Um, I've I've made well over four hundred ambient compositions for the relay station, plus at least triple that with all the improv. I have I I have not even gone back. So all of these improv sessions, most of them I've managed to save some i've either just kind of forgotten or whatever or had issues but um uh so it's really allowed me to do so much and um i'm really really grateful that i even have a computer at all that i'm able to do this um oh, such a good potato <laughs> Thank you guys for the level one hype train. Thank you. Um, so what's going on this week? I think this week we're going to do two things. Um, uh, let's see. One, Limey had posted in Discord. Now I'm going to open up the Discord because I don't, I don't remember exactly the details of it. Um, come on there we go um, so I'm inclined to do this if only because Limey made this kind of an informal music community challenge he had posted a link to cyberpunk 2077 um so it looks like it's going to be a game or something. There's a game or something. And they're having a radio station. And they're looking for kind of cyberpunk themed music. So I think maybe this week for the Tuesday and Thursday we'll work on that. I, if for one, the one thing that bothers me is this is so typical of how. Um, private industry treats artists. Uh, sorry to get off on a tangent here. Um, okay. Yeah, it's a DLC update. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, the, this is so typical with a lot of these um, private industry games or anything involving music they put it out as a contest and so they get everyone to ooh you could be famous <laughs> but and the reality is they're not going to pay you what you probably should be paid for so um i don't know i don't i don't know anything about cyberpunk I've never played it. I've never even heard of it. Um, anyways, it might be something fun to a challenge to set forth myself for on Tuesday and Thursday for a stream. Um, yeah. So anyway, so thank you, Limey, for posting that. I think we'll give that a shot. But anyway. Let's, I've, 
yacked enough, I'd say we get back to some music, shall we? Do, do I owe any requests? I think I do. I do, and it's the number two. It's the number two. All right, let me find my piano here. Well, come on, little potato. You can do this. Oh my gosh, I need a new chair, and this chair is so squeaky. So squeaky. Very squeaky.
Thank you so much for that request. I appreciate that. I love that song. I love it. There's just so much space and freedom. Give me one moment here. I gotta reboot my DAW. It's it's misbehaving. Uh, my computer's been uh, misbehaving all weekend. In fact, let me actually close out Discord because I really don't need that running. That's oh yep. Yeah. <laughs> I really did not need all that nonsense running. Um, let's see. All right. Can we reopen this without causing problems now? I hope so. It, it, it is a peaceful song. I, I really enjoy it. Um, I just want to give one more shout out to our guest artist today, James Dawson. Uh, I think that was his piece seven. Um, just a great instrumentalist. Um, we're going to be featuring them on the, the season three premiere of the Stolas Realization, uh, which will be airing at uh, stolas.com as well as youtube.com slash stolas. I was really, really, really hoping to um, be able to also simultaneously stream to Facebook and uh, as well as um, uh, the Relay Station channel on Twitch. So twitch.tv slash Relay Station. After doing a test broadcast um it was very apparent um the that i do not have the processing power nor the bandwidth to be able to simultaneously stream to um more than one video source i won't have any issues streaming the the audio out to mixler and then the video through youtube so that's really not going to be a problem but um uh, yeah. Anyways, James Dawson, we're going to be featuring him on the season premiere on November 6th, right? Uh, it's at stolas.com as well as youtube.com slash stolas. Um, gosh, I'm really, really excited for the radio show. Um, I've been pouring a lot of hours into it, and I, I feel like this is, this is a good this this could work this could really work i've been looking for something that's going to click you know and resonate and i think that this is i think this is the right path it's not to say i'm not going to be working on all these other things because i would not be me if i had my hands involved at least it in, in at least three projects all at the same time yeah fingers crossed so i'm trying to do all of the legwork up front so having all of the things necessary that a radio station would need to be able to successfully not only just play the show but to be able to fit it in with the program to be able to easily promote it with ease so it's it's getting to the point where i'll provide they'll have the the cue sheet with all the songs the what times how long they are they'll have text that's going to be that they can use for posting in social media posts um and they'll event that also have um uh 30 second um spots to be able to promote the show all the things um <laughs> packaged up for each one um so and i'm really excited about giving attention to some musicians that just really really deserve it and probably have the same amount of small viewership as i do <laughs> but i think if i think if we would work together i think we can really create something really really cool anyways um let's see i think we got about maybe 40 more minutes of music here uh, let's see. What do what do I want to play from my song list? 
I never, I, I rarely pick it up for myself. What do I want to play? You know what? Let's do the road out of Kenosha. Um, Head. All right, let's do that one. Uh, the road out of Kenosha. I think we played this one last week too. After I started c talking about not Kenosha, K no, this should be Kenosha. <gasps> did oh no oh my gosh I realized that I think I made a cosmic mistake oh my god hold on I need to search my library because um Oh my god. Oh shoot. Yeah, um <laughs> You know what I realized? Long after this album has been released that it should have been um, actually, let me just double check this because I'm have. Yeah, okay. Um, I completely screwed this up. The song was supposed to be entitled The Road Out of Kenora, as in Kenora, Ontario. Um, it was thinking about some memories up there in Kenora and um, and instead the name of the song somehow in my I wasn't paying attention I put the road out of Kenosha as in Kenosha, Wisconsin <laughs> oh my god help me Oh jeez, that's not the only, see. I've I've caught other misspellings too. Like there was another one, um, one of my other songs, and quite honestly, this is bound to happen when you've released four hundred some songs. So, <laughs> but one of the other songs is supposed to be entitled "Memento Mori," but "Memento" was spelled wrong. Um. And I think there was one other one, um, and I don't remember the name of the song. So I, I think that brings it up to three tunes that have some sort of clerical error on my part. Oh, oh my gosh. All right. Remember, remember, all right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry that I've kind of derailed this whole, this whole stream now with chatting. Remember, remember my drama with Fresh Tunes? Remember that it was a distribution company based out, I think they're based out of Dubai. And oh my God, remember they kept renaming all my albums? And like, like, just like, no, this is too long. You can't submit it. Like, tell. This is not too long. I've already got albums out here with these naming conventions. It's not too long. So long I've long since removed everything from their services, cleared out all my stuff. And last week I received an email from Fresh Tunes. It looked like some sort of automated email that said your account has been banned. <laughs> Fresh Tunes banned me. <laughs> Actually, if I could, I would... It would be the other way around. I would ban Fresh Tunes from being able to distribute other people's music. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was like, 
Oh, my feelings are so hurt. Sorry. Sorry that you banned me. Why did you ban me? It's like I'm trying to hold you accountable as a business. <laughs> yes. Yes. You didn't stop using us. We stopped letting you use our service. <laughs> it's like they're trying to get the last, the last nail in the coffin. It's like... It's like, you realize this doesn't bother me. Anyway, so that's enough of that drama. Um, oh, yeah, I was looking for a song and the road out of Kenosha. That's right. We're going to do that. All right. Let me find myself a harp. Sounds like a harp. There we go. The road out of Kenora a.k.a. the road out of Kenosha. <laughs> Here we go. still works it's a place and it has a road <laughs> <laughs> so 
See, now what I need to do, see, is I need to summon in my mind a, me a memory that I have from my extensive travels <laughs> to Kenosha, Wisconsin, which I've been to Kenosha. Let me actually check on the map. I'm pretty sure I've been to Kenosha, Wisconsin. Um, but I, I need to look this one up. Because I'm, I'm positive I've been to Kenosha, but I'm trying to struggle to... Oh. <gasps> okay. Yes. Yes. I have been to Kenosha. Um, which Kenosha... So let me pull it here. I'll pull up the desktop so you can actually see this here. Um, so Kenosha... Oops, wrong thing. What am I trying to do? There we go. Kenosha is, so here's um, where uh, Wisconsin, Michigan, here's the hanging penis that is like Michigan. <laughs> you'll, you'll never be able to unsee it. Uh, there's Kenosha, Wisconsin, just south of Milwaukee and right north of the border of Illinois. Kenosha. So, yeah, I do have memories. But now what I'm going to have to do is find a memory from Kenosha and then name it something the road out of Kenora <laughs> or the something out of the something something of Kenora. And but it's really should be about Kenosha. So and you guys would be in on the secret with me. Kenora, Ontario, however, is way up here somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. It's somewhere up in all of these chains of lakes uh, north. Uh, let's see, where is it? Kenora, Ontario. I'll just pull it up. Oh, way over there. Let's see. it i think this is it here yeah so this is kenora it's a beautiful little beautiful little place oh let's look at some pictures anyways i had some friends up there in kenora and a few memories stuff that i'd rather not go back to but you know good memories nonetheless looks like a beautiful place we want to go back and visit. But this, actually, Minnesota looks just like this. So it's really like just your, looks like northern Minnesota, or basically we look like southern Canada. <laughs> Anyways. All right, let's, let's put that away and play some more music, shall we? Oh, all right. What, what should we play? What should we play? Let's do... <laughs> well, it's it's more than just the place. It's uh, this is where this is where all my readings in Seneca come. It doesn't matter where you live. If 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 your mind is not well ordered and <laughs> not living your best life you're going to carry you're going to carry yourself as your companion wherever you may be I love it. I do love Minnesota though I I love it I would it'd be hard to imagine myself anywhere else but if I had to move somewhere else I would there's there's a probably three or four places that I would um choose my first choice would be Amsterdam, um, largely because it's you bike to everything, um, and I I just love that. I really like that idea, and I like that it's a lot more of a um, I don't know I don't want to say liberal, but it's very very. Um, 
very democratic environment. Uh, I would also, um, let's see, if I had to move somewhere else, where else would I move? I'd probably move to New, Ze New Zealand. That's going to be a second one, a second option. Um, I would love to, um, uh, gosh. Of course, I, I say all these things in naivety because you know, every place has its problems. Everything, like, and even moving to some place completely ridiculously different would have its own baggage in terms of the culture shock and trying to adjust to a, a new culture. Um, I would love to live in Washington. Washington's a beautiful place, the Pacific Northwest, Oregon. Um, if San Francisco wasn't so crazy expensive, um, I might consider that. Endor, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm going to retire to Endor. <laughs> when all right, I got to tell you a story. TK and I were doing a troop uh for this charitable walk and um we were um we were basically in character most of the time. So we were actually um um like acting like this is our normal day job like not like we're anything sort of not even a special stormtrooper by any stretch of the ma imagination but really just that we're this is our day job <laughs> and so you know i haven't been to the but i would go to the northwest but i don't know or the northeast i don't know if i'd live there may because i haven't been there yet of course i haven't been to amsterdam either but Anyway, um, so we were chatting. So I had mentioned we were we were standing around. We were kind of just doing bantering, like stormtrooper banter. I was like, "Yeah, I tell you, if finally, if I if I can, you know, if someone finally shows that me their imperial identification, my job's done here. I'm gonna retire." And it became this thing talking about retirement. Where would I retire? I'm just gonna re I was going to retire to Endor. I hear they had nice puppy-like little creatures there. <laughs> that I could make as a pet. You know, a nice little cabin by the lake. And, and <laughs> you know, I was like even mentioning how I even had a brochure and all this stuff. And here's the funny thing is that we do randomly, but jokingly, ask for people's papers or their, their, identif their imperial identification. And they, these two women actually dug out their IDs. <laughs> so... And when once they left, there was kind of a there was a pause, a silence in the air, and and I believe it was TK who said, "Well, I guess you can retire now." <laughs> oh my gosh! It was it was perfect. Never in my entire time of trooping as a stormtrooper for the 501st never has anyone ever produced their actual identif their actual identification like their driver's license they both dug in their purses whipped out the identification I was like you're showing me your personal information <laughs> why are you doing this <laughs> oh my god it was so hilarious that was one of the best troops of recent memory. Oh, I have a bunch of stories from my trooping days. A bunch of stories. One of my f other favorites was um, there was one event I was trooping for. It was this heart walk for, I think it was the American Heart Association, I believe. See either that or the American Red Cross. I don't remember who. It, anyways, 
It was a 95 degree day. It was super humid, and we are all at Target Stadium where the Minnesota Twins play for this heart walk. Out there trooping, sweating so bad. Like, just the air was stagnant, and just, and you're in these plastic. Tupperware bins <laughs> they're not Tupperware bins but you, this plastic armor with black soft armor under armor underneath it and so sweaty well anyways I packed up my stuff and completely forgot about my armor when I got home like I just threw it in the corner my big bin and I forgot that the following weekend I had a troop for the Special Olympics. Uh, the Summer Olympic Games were uh, in the Twin Cities. And so I trooped for one of the events. And when I pulled out my bin and opened it up and p pulled out all my soft parts and stuff, I realized I'd forgotten it clean everything and wash everything there was literal mold on my gloves <laughs> but fortunately I have I have two pairs of gloves I've got my comfortable gloves which are they're like a soft it's just a cotton poly cotton kind of glove the second is actual screen accurate gloves which those are black chemical gloves um, and I very rarely wear those because um, like it's it's like a hot box for your hands if you're in the sun you are going to roast you are going to your fingers fingers are going to shrivel up you're going to be like <laughs> basically like bones with a little bit of flesh um but anyways um so i had to wear those um plus all and then put on all this smelly armor that i had to fortunately i still had bleach wipes with me so i was able to clean my armor but it was the soft parts that was just like well this is gonna suck <laughs> and actually it, by clarification it was just the gloves in terms of the soft parts that were left in there with the armor my actual under armor the pants and shirt that you wear underneath that I did wash so that wasn't dirty or anything it was it was the armor and the soft parts that I forgot about. Never again. Now, from now on, you know, it's if it's if it's if I sweat at all, I clean off my armor before I put it away. Because I'm not gonna make I'm not gonna make that same mistake twice. No siree. All right, let's. Uh, play a little bit more music, shall we? Uh, I've got about four, 15 more minutes, and then I'm going to probably uh, log off for the night. We'll think about who we're going to raid out. Um, I haven't even looked. I, I'm i still really bummed um, that, um, that Chris Ortega no longer calls me Stoleche makes me a little bit sad but that's okay <laughs> let's see it looks like okay i got a few options here all right let's play some music shall we we shall
at home. And that's us on it. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you've ever heard of, every human being who ever was lived out their lives. The aggregate of our joy, our suffering. Thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines. Every hunter and forager every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother, father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. The earth was a very small stage in a vast cosmic arena. Think of the rivers of blood spilled by all those generals and emperors so that in glory and triumph they could become the momentary masters of a fraction of a dot. Think of the endless cruelties visited by the inhabitants of one corner of this pixel on the scarcely indistinguishable inhabitants of some other corner. How frequent their misunderstandings, how eager they are to kill one another, how fervent their hatred, their posturings, our self-imagined self-importance, the delusion that we have some privileged position in the universe are challenged by this point of pale light. Our planet is a lonely speck in a great envelop in cosmic dark. In our obscurity, in all this vastness, there's no hint that help will come from elsewhere to save us from ourselves. The Earth is the only world known so far to harbor life. There is nowhere else, at least in the near future, to which our species could migrate. Visit? Yes. Settle? Not yet. Like it or not, for the moment, the Earth is where we make our stand. It has been said that astronomy is humbling and a character building experience. There's perhaps no greater demonstration of the folly of the human conceits than this distant image of our tiny world. To me, it underscores our responsibility to deal more kindly with one another, to preserve and cherish the pale blue dot the only home we've ever known.
Well, my. Ooh, oof. I got a hot mic here. <laughs> well, my friends, thanks so much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you enjoyed the music. I hope that it was peaceful for you. I hope bring you a little serenity tonight. Thank you for me for taking care of the bot. Thank you. That's the noise in my head that I hear whenever someone gets bopped. cartoon bob we are going to take our chill vibes and we are going to go um oh here's a cozy, cozy covers let's do this we're gonna go to let me just check to see how long they've been streaming first before i start committing ourselves to a channel okay hour and a half yeah, we could do that. We're going to go visit Patchwork. Um, let me give you the user ID here. Um, it's a cozy self-care Sunday. Let's do this. All right, so let me... There's their username. Oh, come on. How come it won't paste? Ugh, seriously? The funny thing about his username is it gives me flash flashbacks to my World of Warcraft days. Patchwork. <laughs> oh my gosh. The seemingly countless hours that we spent on that boss. Patchwork. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is not the same patchwork. My friends, thank you so much. Thank you, May, for moderating tonight, as always. Appreciate it. Thank you, everyone, for the hype train earlier. I appreciate you very much. Baby steps to getting Potato a little, a, a big brother. <laughs> potato needs a big brother. So Potato can just run the stream, and Big Brother can do all the music things. <laughs> all right, my dear friends, remember to be kind to yourself. slight problem we have a slight problem patchworks raid <laughs> sorry we are not going to be raiding patchwork um his raids raid settings are not allowing for raids so how about we don't raid and we just all go well Um, well, he doesn't want raids, so we're not going to get, we're going to, let's just go visit Corey Clark live. Um, actually, you know what? No, I changed, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Let's, let's raid someone we haven't raided in a very long time, largely because I feel like a small potato compared to her big potatoes. Let's go visit Kayla, or Claire Picks. Um, she's got the cozy music going on and the kitties. I want to go see some kitties too. So we're going to go say hi to Claire Pick. She's playing a little tiny, looks like a little tiny banjo. It's like a little baby banjo. It's a baby banjo. All right. So <laughs> take two. Let's, let's try a raid. Claire Picks. Bye-bye, friends.